Hey YouTube, this is Dan from MBTV and today I'm going to talk about uh, typing people and you know the significance of typing people and so um, so if I sound under, under the weather, uh, you know, forgive me, um, but I, I wanted to make this video because uh, I was, you know, I, I, make, I, I respond to a lot of the YouTube comments, um, primarily it's me, and, um, you know, I get a lot of questions about the relevancy between, you know, when somebody types somebody and then they just leave it at that and they leave their thoughts to just how the type stigma is, I guess, kind of unravel. Like, oh, okay, cool, he's a ENFJ or he's an ISTP or an INFP. I'm gonna let the, the, the type bias just get to me and I'll leave it at that, no extra work. And I actually created, I probably didn't create, this isn't probably the first time it's been said, but you know, I, I responded to this one post and I said, you know, you can look at the onion or you can start peeling out its layers and understand, you know, what's really going on. Uh, why that's so important, a good example, like the post that I was, you know, responding to, this person has a brother or a sister who was a family member who was an INTJ, and they're like, great, INTJ, problem solved, right? And so, like, maybe this person will look more into and understand their, their family member more, but there's this underlying sense that, like, in the type community and with people in general, you get this sense of, you know, oh cool, I, you know, I want to basically understand that person. I don't want to put too much time in really getting to know them and really kind of unraveling those layers and then I'm, you know, just going to leave it at that. This actually kind of intertwines with the, with the, with the overwhelming majority of people who are not in the type community who ironically do this without type stigmas because they don't really know about it. They don't really care to. And so... This is a double-edged sword, kind of, for people in the MBTI and typology community, and people who aren't, uh, you know, people like, you know, random people you can just go up to and say, hey, you know, I think you're a this type, and, you know, we should talk about it, and then they go, oh, well, don't judge me, and it's just like, there's so many people out there who are, who already judge, and they, they don't even give it a second thought to really understand other people, so it's, it's like the hypocrisy is real. You know, make that a meme. Um, and so I wanted to make this video about the two ideas. One, really peel back at the layer of individuals. And, you know, just if you if you don't want to get to know somebody, then don't give, then don't just stigmatize their personality or their, their functionality. You have to remember MBTI is an about personality. It's just about people's preferences, about how they navigate the world. It's really, for them, it's really specific to the individual it's not really about really others it's really at the end of the day about how you kind of see the world how you apply it the applicability of of how typology really will affect your life and the other idea of you know of just oh how to deal with how to deal with other people who aren't you know with you know into uh typology you have to remember typology it's like a science of people right that's how i see it anyway and so I, I'm always fascinated with people. I want to get to know people. I want to understand people more. It's going to help me do what I do better. And so a common example is it came up in conversation the other day for me. Anyway, I was hanging out with a group of friends. And one of them was like, oh, yeah, well, you know, that stuff, you know, it's really just about judging. And I'm like, how is that any different than what you do with people now? Except this is just more accurate. You know, so are you scared of the acute accuracy it has? potentially or are you just kind of you know putting up a wall because you know you're afraid that something might actually be uncovered so anyway it's raining right now and um so, so, so <laughs> random thought so anyway uh my point is you know as far as using typology and dealing with people who are really not interested in it getting overcoming this objection of oh well you're judging people you judge people all the time without typology you know so the real difference is that it may be accurate it may be not but it but it definitely opens up the conversation to talk more about the personalized self which is something that not a lot of people want to do so pretty much if you have somebody that you want to talk about 
MBTI and stuff in the ju- in the judgment objection comes up, then just bring up the fact that, you know, you want an open forum to talk about, you know, more stuff and that, you know, there's there's actually dedicated, you know, people science to really get to understand people more. And sure, it may seem judgmental, but so are the criterion of many other different areas of life. So you just have to understand or have these individuals understand that sure, there may be a, uh, a judgmental a- aspect, but it just comes off that way. They're really just observations that have been logged over time to create, you know, a, a general idea of, of something, right? Or a judgment, right? I guess. But I mean, I really wouldn't see it as a judgment. I would really just, I would approach people and, and really, I mean, this is how I say it. This is how I talk to people who, who really don't, who, who really think that MBTI and typology is just, you know, it's all judgmental and, you know, whatever else they may say. I say, look, you know, this, this stuff makes me understand people and correct me if I'm wrong, but, you know, it's pretty accurate if you actually took the two seconds to really uh, get to know the, the content, right? And, you know, I mean, this is because I talk to people and, like, usually my my thoughts are correct or you know i get to prove things right in real time but you know you experiment you get to you get you try to understand people and right and so you you know when you talk about typology it really should be coming from a place of curiosity right be curious don't tell people who they are don't tell people they're an intj you know you want to get to know them and, and 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 go beyond just the first layer you know that's where the real work starts and so i don't really believe that a lot of people i guess have the right idea like you know they think that oh cool i'm an intj or whatever type or whatever type from any system socionics you know enneagram they leave it at that and they 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 explore the type but they don't really they don't really apply it to themselves so they they try to apply it and it's a lot of work because it's a lot of it's a lot of uh it's a lot of synth- synthesizing information. Uh, it's a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of photosynthesis, but you know it's it's a lot of work applying this to yourself and really wanting to. You know it's, uh, but you know if you want to if you want to really understand type and really apply it to yourself, you have to do the work. You have to really ask yourself some hard questions. You have to go down that route. And so I think. When people really go down that route, that's where the curiosity really is. You know, at first people really just want to get get a hold of the systems, and so they really they just start asking everybody around them. But what they should really be doing is really asking themselves, you know, these questions, these, and really kind of getting an understanding of who, uh, who they are uh, with this with uh, with typology. You know, you know, really really kind of use typology around people. You know, it's it's really about first impressions, right? If you come to me. And you're like, oh, you're an INTJ, I'm gonna, and I have nothing, and I, have, and I know nothing about the systems. I'm gonna be like, wow, okay, so you're you're judging me right now, right? But if you're asking out of curiosity, you should be like, hey, you know, somebody asked me like, hey, you know, you're, you know, are you like this kind of person? You, know, I notice that, you know, you're, you do this, this, and that, you know, like I notice that you're very outgoing. Do you consider yourself to be very outgoing? And then I could say, well, yeah, or or no, or why do you ask? They're like, well. You know, I'm learning more about people through this system than I use. And, you know, it's, you know, it's pretty accurate from, from what I've known, but I just want to check with you because I'm interested in getting to know you more through the, these systems because it's pretty accurate, right? Like, oh, okay, cool. You know, so it's really about first impressions, I think. It's really about how you use or, or it's really how, how you utilize the indicators that we have available to us. You know, a lot of people just want to just slap on labels. And, nav- and then navigate and, and do that further understanding. You know, other people, you know, really just want to get to know others, but some people just really want to apply it to themselves, be around people who really want to further their own lives and, you know, personal development and stuff, and that's great. But you it really come, you really got to figure out where you want to, what, what position you want to come from. I think everybody should come from the position of really getting to know themselves first, identifying with, the systems in their own way, really figuring out what kind of characteristics they exemplify and really either working with somebody or, you know, kind of collaborating with others, right? The idea of collaboration, right? Collaborating with people, 
on type, making a committed effort to figure out each other's types, you know, objectively and really kind of going down that route. And I, I think it's important that people really come more from a curiosity, uh, more of a curious standpoint and more of a an aggressive or, you know, like the, like the thing is like people who talk to others, right, who who know MBTI and typology and just to somebody who doesn't makes them no no more in the know of of people than the person who does it right people who don't know typology who are probably you know who could be psychologists may know more about people than you do who you know who you've, you've studied maybe like a couple years of, of of mbti systems it's really not about what you know it's about what i think it's really comes down to what you want to understand and, and really connecting to people and that's really through curiosity and appreciate uh you know um curiosity and appreciation through presence really really appreciating the fact that you have the time to spend with people to get to know them on a deeper level uh you know and them granting you that access to to really open to having that kind of conversation so uh those are my thoughts on on these two topics the, the onion and the dealing with mbti not uh, people who do not know really MBTI, just be more curious about people. Don't really bring up MBTI. Just be like the quiet scientist and ask random questions, and then people will eventually want to know why you're so curious. Curiosity is a gateway to a lot of openness and connectivity between people. You know, you know, once you're curious, you have sincerity. You have, you know, your gratitude. You have a lot of different things going on. You know, once you're really interested, you know, being interested. So uh, I hope this video helped you guys a little bit you know, with, with whatever, you know, helping others or peeling the onion away. <laughs> uh, so pretty much, you know, we have a lot going on at MBTV. Uh, you know, I really want you guys to stay tuned. We have a lot of content on its way out. Um, a lot of, a lot of dating, spirituality, socionics. Uh, please watch the socionics videos. They're really great guys. Um, very interesting. You know, it's an extent, you know, everything that we're doing is an extension of, of uh typology and eventually we're going to become hubs to different categories so you know we really want you to you know keep an open mind and curious to the other stuff that's going on and of course jump on the chat room community that we have the forums you know we totally you know we love seeing comments on youtube but if you want to go that extra mile and get get to know us and you know other people in the community who are really involved in personal growth jump on there as well thanks for watching and i will talk to you soon